Oh, I have this great client who came to me through a referral, as most of my clients do, and he had a color sense that I had never come across before. Um, people like subtle colors and subtle things, and he wanted bold, 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 and I was just, at first I was scared to death. I was just absolutely like, oh no, how am I going to handle this? And he owned two rugs. And that's all he owned. Everything else was rental furniture. And one rug was green, deep, deep green, emerald green with touches of, of maroonish red in it and a little touch of yellow. The other rug was that maroon color, a lot of it, with a little touch of green and a tiny touch of yellow. And he said, I like these colors. And I also love the yellow that's in the, um, I forget which president it was. I, um, Anyway, it doesn't matter, but it was in the White House, and he loved this yellow. And I was like, how am I going to make this work? Well, what happened is I decided to do each room in that color. And so the living room became the yellow room with touches of red and green. His bedroom became this deep, deep green that I aged down and with touches of red and yellow. And then his office space library became this deep red with the touches of green and yellow. And to this day, um, it's the most looked at project on my site. And I'm very proud of that because we worked hard on that. But it was getting the right yellow um, in his room. He had some sun, not a lot. And color has to be made for that particular spot because light and, and the direction of light and the type of light and all that comes into play when you're picking color. So uh, we found this color, of, interestingly enough, called Sunshine Yellow from Benjamin Moore. And it was the perfect yellow. It was like the perfect yellow. And in that particular room, if you see it on my site, it's um, we actually married the yellow and the drapes to the, the, um, the color on the wall because we wanted the room to feel bigger and I didn't want the drapes to contrast too much with that. And on the sofas we have a, a beautiful uh, velvet and silk stripe red in red and cream. Um, uh, the rug was instrumental in getting this room pulled together. We I found a rug that had predominantly yellow, but major touches of this same maroon red and little touches of green. When I found that rug, I said, I know how I'm gonna make this work. And that's how I went to each room and made each room its own uh, color. And it was sort of the opposite of what I had been taught at Pratt. When I went to Pratt, everything must flow and you know, no like, separate rooms and separate colors and and that was my big break with that concept and so now I have no problem I can do whatever